what is up guys jeremy here and welcome back to another jailbreak update video the weekly updates that i like to do for you guys i'll be talking about all of the current ios 14 jailbreaks uh which devices they work on which firmwares and all of that i'm also going to give you guys my opinion and my thoughts on a possible 14.4 or 14.4.1 jailbreak um, and what you guys can do to plan for a jailbreak, kind of like I did in the last episode. Uh, so we're going to kick this off with the current jailbreaks, just because I know a lot of you just tune in just to make sure there isn't a jailbreak out yet for your device. Uh, so the current jailbreaks go as followed. So for iPhone 10 and older, so that'd be iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 plus, 7, 7 plus. Uh, the most current jailbreak for those is CheckRain, and you can jailbreak all versions of iOS 14 with CheckRain. That would be 14.0 all the way up to 14.4.1. Like I said, you can use CheckRain. And for those of you that like Cilio, I just covered this recently, you can use Beetlejuice, which is a Mac app, um, and it will run Odyssey Rain, which essentially installs Cilio and Libhooker and all of Coolstar's um, jailbreak stuff onto those devices as well. So there is an official way to get Cilio on CheckRain now. So for those of you that don't like Cydia and you'd rather have Cilio, you can do that. I will leave the video link for that down in the description. Now talking about the newer devices, um, the only current jailbreak for these, the iPhone 10s, the 10s Max, the 10R, the 11s and the 12s um, is Uncover and it only supports 14.0 uh, through 14.3. So all of those versions, technically it supports iOS 11 all the way up to 14.3, just to clarify, uh, but Uncover only supports those firmwares. If you guys are seeing video titles from scam tubers on YouTube uh, that say Uncover 14.4 or 14.4.1, uh, those are fake videos. They are scamming you to make money off of you, unfortunately. So uh, it only goes up to 14.3. Like I said, uh, the Uncover jailbreak will work on the newer devices. Uh, but it also does work on the older devices. So iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 7s. You can use Uncover as long as that device is on 14.0 through 14.3. Uh, that was kind of a little bit of confusion from my last video. So uh, the older iPhones technically have two jailbreaks currently on iOS 14. So if you don't have a computer, uh, you can use Uncover for the older devices. Now I want to talk quickly about what I think of um, a 14.4, 14.4.1 jailbreak. So for those of you that don't know, um, this is the iOS security researcher that released the uh, Secuta Verosa um, exploit. This exploit is what was used in the Uncover 14.0 um, through 14.3 jailbreak. So this was the gentleman that released the bug that made us um, have the ability to jailbreak those newer devices. Like I said, it's called Secuta Verosa. Now, one thing that's very important about this is the PAC bypass um, at the bottom of this exploit. And I've covered this a couple of times in the past, but as you can see for the moment, we have a brand new technique to bypass PAC, but we decided not to include such critical stuff here. Maybe we'll post a PAC bypass along with the iOS 14.5 exploit. This is in progress. We may publish 14.5 exploit after Apple patches it. So um, I think Modern Poner had a lot of great positivity uh, from the jailbreak community with releasing uh, Secuta Verosa um, and then you know us having a jailbreak that we can use uh, on those firmwares. So I do believe uh, that there's a strong, strong possibility that Modern Poner will release this exploit um, once Apple patches it. So what does that mean in terms of planning for the jailbreak? So um, first up, what I show you guys all the time, go into settings, go to general, go to about, check your software version. If you're on 14.4, stay there and do not update. If you're on 14.4.1, again, same thing, stay there and do not update. The way you can stop your device from updating is you go into, I'll show you guys the, the route here, general, software update, and then you can see automatic upload or 
automatic iOS updates and install iOS updates. Just turn all of this off and then your iPhone will not update. So basically that will allow you to stay on iOS 14.4 or 14.4.1. So do not update. That is always the rule of thumb. Uh, you have to plan for jailbreaking, so do not update your iPhone. But what I think is um, Modern Poner is basically waiting for Apple to patch this bug or vulnerability. So we have to wait for Apple to patch it um, and then he will release it. So what's going to happen is this, this bug is going to come out and it's going to be for a currently unsigned firmware from Apple, meaning you can't, uh, you can't downgrade from 14.5 or 14.6 to get to the jailbreak because Apple has patched it and they have stopped signing the older firmwares. Uh, this is what happens um, year to year. Um, if you guys remember last year on iOS 13, there was, I believe, three different versions of Uncover um, for different versions of iOS. I feel like, at least to me, I think we're going to have that same um, kind of thing this year. So I, I really strongly feel that once Apple does patch uh, this PAC bypass, which could be in 14.5 or 14.6, I don't really know. Um, then Modern Poner might release this exploit and then probably within a week or two we would see Uncover updated for it and then you would be able to jailbreak. So we're kind of waiting on Apple really. Uh, as far as timing goes, it's pretty much going to be whenever Apple patches it. If Modern Poner releases it, probably two weeks after that we could see a jailbreak. So uh, it's, it's very hard to say when. Um, and that's basically all I got for you guys in this update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.